Let's see here. What's going on, everybody? Make sure this is all good. How's everybody doing today? Brian back with another live stream. We're going to be jumping and continuing our playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope everybody is uh, having a good day. Uh, good Memorial Day weekend. But... Thank you all for coming and joining. Uh, last episode, we we did a little bit of everything. Once again, you know, we, we were going around doing some side quests. Did a little bit of the main story, um, I think. I can't promise that. I think I did like one or two missions, maybe, main story. Uh, but today, I will be finishing up this electric chair. Um, definitely going to happen. And... Uh, we're going to do some main story. We're definitely going to do some main story, too. I just, I guess sidetracked so easy in this game, guys. So, so easy. <laughs> All right, let me switch over to this, and let's get her started. Uh, demented, I appreciate it. These are my, uh, my blue light glasses. They just help tint the room a little bit because I have a lot of lights going on in here. Um, and when you're sitting here for hours and you just got lights and monitors and stuff beaming your face, it's um, it's pretty taxing on the eyes. Folly Turtle, Folly Turtle, how you been? How you doing? We got Paul. We got Split. How you guys? Of course, Caspi, Cali, Sarbzy, <laughs> Sarbzy, Airborne. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Uh, yeah, I've been out of the military for quite some years and i don't know i just i just have always i i just have to get this haircut i don't know why i can't bring myself to not have a military haircut so yeah we camped out here in the swamp let me see let me see so i know my map's gonna be looking like shite for you guys even though it doesn't look that bad for me you know what i think it is there's some kind of like smoothing or some type of like i don't know what it is Maybe it's like a setting or something. Does anybody know? In the chat. Uh, let me see. Graphics. Um. I don't know. I got all the graphics on like super high. <laughs> I don't know. All right. But it doesn't matter. It's only the map that looks weird. The rest of the game looks amazing. So let's tear down the camp. And uh, yeah, we got to go up and uh, we're going to capture a guy to be our test for the electric chair. Uh, uh, it's not my idea, so don't blame the savagery on me. I'm just collecting a bounty, guys. I turned over a new leaf, as you guys know. Um... In this episode, I'm definitely going to show you guys how non-savage I can be. We're even going to trim the beard. All right, so where is this location? Okay, so that's actually pretty far. We'll ride out. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll cut across. Well, where actually we'll let it tell me where the hell are we at, which way we have to go. I'll let the, I'll let the game tell me what's the best way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Michael, welcome back, brother. How you doing? Got them gators in the swamp. Yeah, so this is definitely like a good area to go ahead and try to hunt some uh, for feathers. Yo, look at that gator over there. Oh, that's a pretty good size one. Yeah. Lady X, I still do have a good amount of the map uncovered. I've seen a picture of the map before the full thing, and it's, it's freaking massive. There's like a whole area to the south. Um... 
down here. So we pretty much got most of the map discovered up here. But I know that um, from what I've seen, I know there's at least like this much of the map right here. Uh, Blackwater. Yep. But we haven't been down into Blackwater because... Uh, We're wanted dead or alive down there. Lenny! <laughs> Lenny! Oh, it's you. Come here, please! What? You can see the bind I'm in. I need help again. Come Bro, on! How did you get... Okay, okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good. But I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. Second time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. <laughs> I'm sure you'll show up sooner or later. I took out them jokes, man. actually seen um a video a game award video of the voice actor for arthur morgan and when you see the voice actor for arthur morgan i couldn't i couldn't pin the voice like when he talks normally it you wouldn't think that he was the voice for arthur morgan you know um but yeah so definitely go check that out if you guys want to see who the uh, who voice Arthur? It'll, it'll kind of blow you away. Yeah. And then not even the way he looks; it was just the way his normal talking voice was. But there's a lot of um, voice actors out there, you know, who they voice certain things and then you hear them talk. Like even Rick from The Walking Dead. Rick was one of the ones that absolutely destroyed me mentally. I didn't even know Rick was british had no clue had no clue and then um i seen an interview with him and he was straight up british and i'm like whoa 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 how does this british dude speak better southern like dialect and accent than like southern people it was it was crazy like some people are just so talented yeah Like, Rick literally sounds more Southern than Southern people. Yeah, that, that one really got me. Even Michonne. Michonne's British, too. Is it? No, no, that's not Michonne. It's, um... Ma Maggie. 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 She was... She's also British. I was just like, dude, what's going on? All these, all these Brits with better American accents than Americans. It's truly amazing. Maggie, yeah, yeah. And, um... Morgan, Morgan, yep. Norman Reedus sounds like Norman Reedus, though. Like, he doesn't really sound much different. Um, when he talks, but uh, I do want to do some of the challenges, uh, just to do some of the challenges, but that'll be stuff that we'll do later on. Help me, please! Okay. I didn't do nothing, I swear. Keep clear. Official business. I'm not messing with no bounty hunters. New leaf, remember? I don't like the railroad. Morgan's real name is Lenny! <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're 
We're getting close to our bounty location. Time to put our serious face on. I don't think the game knows where the hell it's telling me to go right now. Okay. So right off the bat, I can see a huge group of enemies down here. All right, yeah, we can get down this way. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, grab a long gun. Uh, we haven't found the serial killer, no, but I am going to be looking up. Uh, we are going to finish up the vampire today. I had the, I, I, I got to bring it back up, but I had the map that showed me the rough locations of the other clues. Okay, so they want this guy alive. So we got to be careful. Shannon, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, Caspi, we'll be doing another episode. Uh, I thought about doing another one tonight, actually, after this. Okay. So we just got to be careful. Tell my horse to stay. Hold here, boy. Kurt, thanks so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Lucifer, how you doing, brother? Yeah, it's just one of the guards. We got to identify which one is the... Uh, the guy we need to capture so we don't shoot him accidentally. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, no, I, I finished streaming uh, pretty late yesterday, so I never I had a chance. Kind of ended up just passing out. Okay, so... There's a couple guys here sitting down. So it'd be so easy if I could just kill everybody, you know? Warned us. Gotta be careful. Shit. Woo. 
Might want to get some cover. Say hello to Jesus for me. So we just got to watch what we're shooting at. I don't think the bounty's going to come after me, like, directly, right? Hey, no, he's in there. Oh, I'm going to have fun watching you die. Let's make sure. Okay, so these two over here are not him. So it made it a little easier because um, the God bounty didn't go try to fight me. Ball. This is uh, very kind of you. All right, let's go ahead and check this camp. See if there's any goodies. Enjoy the peace and quiet. Demon Knight, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Well, pick him up. We're going for a walk. There he is. Demon Knight, I don't think I'll ever make it to a million subs, man. That's a lot of subs. Uh, you got you got to be a special type of person, I feel, to get that big on YouTube. I'm just a normal type of person, you know. Looting up these bodies. Oh, nice. We're getting some decent little valuables here and there. I think that's it. Anything worth taking, at least. We could wrangle up some of these horses, but they're really not worth much. Take me to damn cork, man. Poor dude doesn't even know it's coming. <laughs> He's about to be the This ain't America. We ain't free. He's about to be the test for the new electric chair. No more. Can't raise no animals, take no wives. No lie. Let me go ahead and I did was Graze my livestock. Married them that needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <laughs> It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. Sorry, partner. You Is know, you it's the alien shit. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up. Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity. Electricity chair. Hair on. To kill you. Humane. 
<clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. <laughs> you was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. Arthur's there such a troll, a dude. Cattle. Lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something, all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey. This electricity professor's got plans for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind. Got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Guys, that 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 guy was not my fault. All right, that that guy was not my fault. He was just. I I know not the horse. It was the guy. I don't know. I, he was just there. I thought he was uh one of. The, I I got ambushed. You know, and I thought he was one of the. You know. He, you guys can forgive that one. I'm pretty sure everybody understands it. I guarantee nine out of ten out of ten people, and it would have it would have done the same thing. It, it, honest mistake. We got what was coming to him to be sure. I didn't do anything. No, guys, I'm good. We're good. I'm still, you know, new leaf and all that. Yeah, that doesn't violate the, the leaf policy. Pedro, what's going on, brother? Yeah, that totally does not violate the leaf policy. That was... That had nothing to do with me. Legendary, I appreciate it. And I want to thank you guys. Already almost 100 likes on the stream. That is so awesome. Paul, welcome. Big David. Fam is doing good, man. We're, we're, make, we're making do, man. We're, you know, making the best out of our sitch. We're, we're, you know, we're doing it, man. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. Here we go. No. I mean, Arthur didn't scare him half to death. Come on. Don't be shy. 
by now. Let's go. Ha, bring him over here. here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Jesus. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. One stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. Uh, there'll Whoa. be money enough for you, sir. Yeah, let's hope. All right, so let's get our our um our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come oh, on. we get to actually see it. Yep. Oh man, there's no way we're at. We get to see the first demonstration. Oh, Damn it. Get that. tighten up that drive in there, brother. He's just sitting there. What trouble is in your dumb head? What's wrong with you, huh? Wait, my date was pretty good. Oh, okay. It's a it's a mission. I can't miss it. Okay, I thought I had to follow him. Gotcha, gotcha. As long as I can't miss it, then I ain't too worried about it. So, main mission wise, what, what missions do we have for this? Mama, not nurse you right. Relax, lady. I'm just living my life. Do got this mission with Hosea. Might uh, we might push that. See what's really going on in this town. We'll head back to camp. Yeah, let's do it. Let's head back to camp. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's let's uh, let's get these um. Let's get the vampire ratings. Okay, so I gotta get the We'll get the map up here in a second. I if I look at the map though, I do remember. I think there was one in here ish. Uh, shit, we already got the one over here. I think there was one over here somewhere, like the back side of one of the. Let me just get the map up. Screw it. Yep, so there was one here. Ish. Um one here ish. One here. We already got the one that was here. And then I believe there was one more. Yep, that was over here. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so so we got all of those marked. Um let's go.
What? What'd you say? <laughs> Looking for the cheapest Oros? Oh. <laughs> Don't move. Let's get those hands up nice and high. <laughs> Works every time. Hold on one sec, guys. I, I don't even know what happened there. Um, I didn't shoot the kids. No, 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 no. The, the guys that robbed me. Th those are the ones I shot. Those are the ones that we, we, we shot. Well, I'm going to catch a bounty for that for sure. Don't don't trust the children in in this damn city. They, they'll set you up. Little shits. I just want to do some vampire hunting. Yeah, they were trying to rob me. Like what? I didn't. And then I get wanted for murder. Fifteen dollar bounty, that's not bad. Out of the damn way. Why are you doing this? Alright. Okay, there's another one. You're gonna have to come with Damn. me. Just leave me on There's no. Do a little stint. Do a little time, guys. All, all because I defended myself. Like, BS, man. Shadowgrim, how you doing? I should have changed clothes, yeah. It is what it is, though. I wonder how much... The guy should pay me good for that electric chair mission. There we go. Another message right here. What are you doing to me? I drink from the maiden and I live again in the dead heart of the ring of blood.
Okay. So there's that one down. That guy's sharpening a steak? <laughs> We're vampire hunting, this guy's sharpening a steak. My bad, dude. What the hell's going on? <clears throat> oh, wow, that's awesome. They had soup kitchens back then, too. All right, let me go ahead and remove this marker just so we don't get any confusion. We'll head over and get these two. Just gotta be careful in these alleys over here. As you guys see people people get robbed around here. Hey, why is this happening? Relax. Alright, Bill, could have been building here. Yep, here we go. You in over your head in the big town, huh? What are them crook cops took in Jimmy for swiping just a few bits? Hey! Can't hey, wait you. till I can you get out of this place. What the hell are you kids got go- in the ears, get out! Got a problem? I'm about to beat the shit out of a little kid. Make me beat up kids, man. Come on. There it is. Okay, the sweetest of napes. May your blood remain forever on my lips. Six there will be before the lost or before the lust is sated. That's that's super super creep. Samuel! Change this out. Thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. I'm about to change outfits at the horse, though. I should have my Peaky Blinder outfit back on. All right, now we got to go around this way and make our way through. Out of the way! Now we just started, Z. Just started. Uh, we're, we're vampire hunting right now. Trying to get at, We got two more clues. What is this? Go on and move. Go, oh, come on. Nasty, I am doing pretty good. I do. I don't know if I have my Peaky Blinder outfit on the. Yep, I do. Awesome. Yeah, we got our we got our Peaky Blinder outfit. Good morning, friend. You're not smart. Had a shootout. Here we go. So I think I should be able to get in here, right? Let me see. Yep. Get some rest, Look up. About to get our Sam and Dean Winchester on. I played the first Red Dead Redemption like a billion years ago. 
Um, I don't really remember much about it, but we are going to be, once we beat this, we will be playing Red Dead 1 and Undead Nightmare. Uh, a I lot got of you. One shadow. Don't need to. Uh, it seems like a lot of you guys are interested in seeing playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 1, so. Here. Maybe on the other wall. Where I find me know the drain somewhere maybe. There it is. It wasn't even close. <laughs> I knew it was in this area somewhere. Um, with one long kiss, I drew the life from her. And I can't read what the hell that says. That is some weird two letters. Uh, with one long kiss, I drew the life from her and await the outpost of advancing day. Last of Us was awesome, Eric. I had a great time playing it. We got one more. Not again. You didn't have to go all the way around. There was a way in right here. Dim some. Dim some. Hello. Morning. Now, my thing is, I'm not reading chat to see because I know people are going to type it in when I at, when I say this out loud. But um, I don't know if this is a real vampire or if it's just some crazy dude walking around pretending he's fucking Dracula. You know what I mean? It's probably going to be about as much vampire as that zebra was a zebra. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Even a fake vampire is still better than no vampire. Donnie, thank you so much for the sub. And Zach, thank you for the sub. I really do appreciate it, guys. All right. Here we go. Five bodies under the perfect star. Nas fruit with what will become mortal again? Okay, so it made like a triangulation type of deal. Maybe it's on this street here. So that one, that one. Oh, let me see. Let me look. Let me check the map. So I think it was this street here. You can move this marker. We'll go over here and check. So all I did was look up the location of the things. I don't know what's going to happen or where I have to go after I find them, but it looks like I did like some type of triangulation. So maybe we have to go here at night. Me estás en cabrón. Hello. So I'm thinking this has to be the area. Sorrel, thank you so much for the sub. Buenos dias. 
Okay, so maybe we'll come back over here at night. How about that? Come back over here at night, see if we see anything. Uh, I'm gonna go... I don't have to pay off my bounty because we already... What time is it? Uh, yeah, we got quite a while before night, so we'll, we'll go down... Link up with Hosea. Slippy, thank you so much for this sub. I really do appreciate it. So the golden gun I'm carrying is the M1899. Um, you can buy it from the gun store here in St. Denis. Um, I got this horse from... Um, what? Um, I got this horse from the uh, Braithart, or the Braithwaite Manor. Mission. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go back over there at night. How do I, uh... Rick Flair, thank you so much for the sub. How is everything? Good morning. Sergio, thank you for the sub. Some Dude, I've donated to you like a hundred times. But I, wait, he's the I think he's the one that was actually blind though. Samuel, thank you so much for the super chat. I really do appreciate it. All right. So hopefully Jose has something good for us. My horse is actually getting pretty hungry. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. Yeah. This area is always so foggy. At night, oh, last episode, it was so creepy, guys. It was so creepy moving through this area. Kurt with the sub, welcome. How you doing today? Still, so the only sketchy part about being based here is we have Jack with us. He's a kid, you know what I mean? And the last thing we want is the gators. You gotta be careful crossing this damn water. This is my braver horse. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you gotta be careful with Jack. He's so little. You know, he goes down there and gets swallowed up by a gator or something. Oh my god. Stuart, thank you for the sub. Welcome. How you doing today? And George. Trapped. In a swamp. Yeah. It's like hell on earth. It beats freezing to death. Facts. In the south? In a swamp? This is not for me. Nor me. But we're alive. Well, Sean's not. Jenny. Mac. Davey. Folks always die, Karen. You and me will die. Trick is to enjoy it while you're alive. That's the trick of it. 
Well, I haven't mastered that bit. You? You have more fun than anyone. Do I? <laughs> Maybe you I do. Okay, Arthur? Jose, here we go. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> D'Angelo, thank you for the sub, brother. I do appreciate it. <laughs> oh, we got a nice ass suit on. Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. So we got no weapons, we gotta be careful. Coward, with the two months. So thank you for what you do. Hey, Coward, thank you for right being here, brother. I do appreciate it. Oh, it is a beautiful. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a that thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I'm Switzerland. Yeah, we're definitely looking super fancy. Like, I hope we get to keep this suit. This house is nice. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys! You arrived! And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you. All in random gaming. Him. Thank you guys for the subs. Well, we're not paid killers. Dakota, thank subs. you for the I'm sub. Cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Uh, random gaming, not man. I have no, uh, I have no issues with temps at all, dude. Um, enjoy your evening and I literally again. turned this PC on. I could play this game on Ultra, and everything it, it works perfect, bro. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. I've never had a single issue with any game I play I with my setup. Evening. Find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to run. Oh, uh, steal nothing. Why does he really think I'm going to steal something? What's his name? Milton knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? Yes. A small one. Just big enough for me to swim the lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know, I... Oh, great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> you know, I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. Time. What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. The real ones, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wedlock. Hugely overrated. I tried it enough. Well, I, I tried both. You know, bastards and marriage. I even married a bastard. <laughs> that didn't work out so good. Oh, my God. I should not have got up this morning. I, I, I need to go and sit down and have a little rest. I'm just going to... Is anybody listening to me? I am. Lillian. I know I look like a drunken harlot, but let me be very clear, young man. I am a drunken harlot. <laughs> well, there it is. No, yeah, this uh, my my PC is pretty good. Like I said, uh, that that one I bought from Best Buy, I I, I play it on Ultra. I play the game in 4K. Uh, that's my resolution, and I'm streaming the game, actively streaming it, uh, in 2K, 1440p for you guys, um, while running all my system software all on the same computer, and uh, it runs perfect. For God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. <laughs> what do you mean? <sighs> Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir, to hear your arguments. I am your clear superior. You're different, but you're neither my better nor my inferior. Sir. Okay, madam. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Oh, well, I, you're stronger than me, sure. 
But as civilized beings? Haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me. Jesus. If that's okay with you. Sir. Who do you think you are? the show I heard you went <laughs> <Ooh>, outrageous <laughs> these dancers well uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you sign me up for French lessons uh -oh. would you like tickets to what this cabaret show at the theater Ramour. it's jolly fun I think I've already been to that one Thank you very much. Being a ticket. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> so does that mean I get to get him for free now? Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Danielson. Uh, Bryn Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, uh, no, it's a new shirt. <laughs> Are you new in town? Uh, yes, uh, I come from the west. Uh, I mean, the north. The, the, the northwest. Okay. I came down from Washington myself many years ago. This town gets to a man, undermines even the best of us. I'm doing my best, sir. Truth is an absolute, sir. Don't you think? What well, I don't quite understand. Well, you are not, it would seem, the only one. I was in the army once. Good for you. What do you do now? Well, uh, I'm not quite. Uh, oh, I'm an American. Uh, yes, but what do you do? <laughs> oh, uh, well, I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh, of course, of course. You shall be too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying. Well, try harder, much harder. But what would you like me to do? Hit the mayor myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and in insults to succeed in newspapers. At least in mine. Good evening. Prick. Bruh. I don't think that seems to be true. I left many moons ago. But and you <laughs> I came down from New York for a job. I'm a banker. A banker? An investment banker. <laughs> no way, dude. And when I got too much, I tried to lend me more. And what do you do, Mr. LaFont? Original. Let me out! Fuck, dude, that was. Even I was trapped. Oh. My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who do you bank with? Oh, the usual bunch of clowns in New York. Do you bank with anyone in the South? Not one I particularly like. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh, I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Some nervous small town bank could finish us in a bad a year. Small town? <laughs> we handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash. Damn. Jose is smart. Half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients. And we love cash. Our branch alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country outside of Wall Street and San Francisco. Well... Perhaps we could discuss it further one day, Mr. Knightley. 
when it comes to bankers, I drive a hard bargain. But I'm very fair in business. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my fiancé. Of course. And congratulations. A wife is a wonderful thing. Could be interesting. How's your evening going? Met some interesting people. What about you? Did you speak to the mayor? I'm still looking for him. Well, look a little harder. Honestly, we're just listening to all these conversations and getting trapped. What the hell is going on with you? Zach, how you doing? It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, I'll say you and me oh. cool off. That guy looked like Abe Lincoln. Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. <laughs> Escorting up. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mister? Oui, oui, mes amis. Bonjour. Bonjour. Je vous salue. Oui, oui. Monsieur. A lot of French people over here. Sir. Hello, sir. Oh. Hello. Evening all. Hello, sir. Hello, mister. Hi there, sir. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! oh. 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Little Bobby, thank you for the sub. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, missing the damn fireworks, man. Jordan, thank you for the sub. I can never do anything, you know, cool and interesting like watch the fireworks. I gotta always gotta go to, you know, I have to go to work while Dutch gets to stand there and watch the freaking fireworks. No problems? Everything's fine. 
We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Perm, how you doing? Taking care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. Twig, thank you so much for the super chat. Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you oh. think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. But he's a servant slapping servants. I'm gonna punch him in the mouth for hitting the lady. Joseph, thank you so much for the sub. No stealing anything except the letter. Well, Miss, thank you so much for the sub. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Oh. Hello. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Lenny! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Eric, how you doing, brother? J. Lewis, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. <laughs> Interesting times. 
I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. That sounds like a lot. Of Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> so yeah, it seems like there's a lot of, uh... A lot of things for us to get into in this town. I don't know... Yeah, so we got a question mark there. That's the one with Trelawney. Uh... There was also that, uh, we might go hit that game above the gun store here. There was the hidden operation or whatnot above the gun store. We might go rob that right now, actually. Where is, uh... Let me see. Can I trim my hair? Can we only trim our facial hair? Our hair is kind of growing out a bit too. Eric, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. I got a haircut today. Decided to look a little more civilized. All right, let's go hit that gun store. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. Uh, don't wait too long with the question mark mission. It, it'll disappear. Ooh, I've never seen that before, though. What is that? It is a gold question mark. Is that that theater ticket that I just got? And Bobby Cutting, thank you so much for the sub. You know what? Yeah, let's go check that out. I've never seen a gold question mark before. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Call my ass out. You okay, Reverend? Karen. Good morning, Arthur. Dilly! All right, let's go ahead and uh, pay some money into the box. I keep getting yelled at. Um. Oh, we didn't even get the debts from uh, Strauss. Okay, and then we will contribute. I haven't given her the time yet. I, I accidentally used it in crafting. It is what it is, you know. Called my ass out, man. Called my ass out. All right, so let's go ahead and I think I'm on chapter four.
Okay, so we're going to do this gold stranger mission first. Uh, yeah, definitely never seen that before. Johnny! Um, so the horse I'm riding right now is a Turco mane. So far. And I've up, yeah, I've, I've upgraded my satchel. Uh, the only, I, did we end up getting the Legends one? I got to look into that. I know we needed some. some uh, I think I needed a perfect cougar. Well, there was a couple pelts we needed for the legends, but I got every other satchel except the legends. Yeah. All right, it's morning. Got so many things going on right now in town. Harrison, save your game before you try the guns with throw. Yeah, I'll definitely. Do. Yeah, we messed up the uh, for a horse as fine as that. the one in Valentine. So I'll definitely make sure I drop a save before we do that. Good morning, Mister Harrison. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really do appreciate it. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we yeah. are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a uh, bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. 
The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh on done. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay. I was at home, just wanted to read a book in peace, but I was yep. locked myself in until it was safe. Alright, so let's go over near the <laughs> gun store. Let me see where is the spot. Right there. And then we'll drop a hard save and then we'll go try to rob it. Oops, wrong button. Time to go, boy. Uh, we have not returned to Braithwaite Manor yet, no. There's so many things to do. So many things to do. <laughs> Alright, so the gun shop is yeah we'll take a left and then another left read one of my pamphlets i explain the exact difference between the races using real science are you slow why are you doing this i'm morning partner Did I already miss the first left? Nope. There. Good morning. Yeah. Might have to talk to that racist dude. He sounds. Seems like that could get interesting. He said he was gonna. He said he was gonna explain the difference between races. Using science. <laughs> uh, but we turned over a new leaf, guys. All right, so let me drop a save here. Uh, story. Save. Okay, so we got a hard save right there. Come on, I ask you nice. Watch yourself. Oh, pardon me, sir. Sweet Jesus. You a bitch. Hey, he just picked your pocket. Go. Oh, you seen everything him. now. I think you have me mistaken, sir. Give me the money. Yeah. Come on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. That's ah. enough. Motherfucker, dude. You robbed the wrong one, dude. You robbed the wrong one. Give me Jomani. get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure.
Hey, I got to see your face if you want to buy a gun in this shop. Hey, that's not going to work here. How come I don't? Oh, do I got to dis? No, you're not coming in the shop with your face covered. You get that off, please. Now, we can maybe do some business. Hey, you shouldn't be there. This is a civilized establishment. Behave, please. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What's wrong with you? All right. Now we can go. Hey, there's nothing for sale back there, sir. Hey, I got to see your face if you want to. I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. Open up, it's me. Again? Must be a slow day. You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Do you need something? No, just came to get some fresh air. All right, then. Being cooped up all day just like a canary. You sure you're all right? Yes, never felt better. Why wouldn't I be? Hey, what the hell's going on? Oh, no, oh, please, don't shoot! Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing, honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two... Okay, okay, take it easy. A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door, Jesus, please, no, please. I've told you all I know. Excuse me. You hear that, Jimmy? He's never caught from the He's been I'll put you on the floor. Look, I only had this job for two weeks. Oh! Wrong button, dude. I was trying to just punch him. There we go. Go to sleep. Come on, man. I guess that. There we go. <laughs> Did not mean to shoot him. I was trying to try to punch him. I just didn't want him to go tell on me. No, he's not dead. He's asleep. I tried knocking him out with the gun, Caspian. I shot him, dude. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a little sketchy, but third damn floor. Go. Please, just take whatever's on the table and leave. I want more money than that. Just take it and leave, please. We don't want any trouble. What's we talking? Nah, there's more there, than that. There you go. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? I will shoot you dead right there. If you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Put together, you imbecile. 
You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. Shit. Not There's too. plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. All right, I'll open the damn safe. Hurry up, partner. You need to Hurry up. to keep your mouth shut. All right, now's not the time for slacking. Let's get to work. If anyone even breathes weird, you let me know. That place should be turned upside down by the time you're done. You was warned! All right, we're gonna we're gonna redo that. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna redo it. So I feel like we messed up by shooting the guy downstairs, but then I also shot the guy upstairs. That, that one, it, it could have went better. I, I, I mean, I, I, let's be honest. It could have went a little better. Yep. All right, let's try this again. Ah, you came back. I'm, Such a long time. I'm just quick to defend myself. You, you know what I mean? Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Excuse me, get out of there. Don't mess around in here, please. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. All right, here we go. We're going we're gonna to do it better this time. Hey, Stefan, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Hey, there's nothing for sale back there, sir. Relax, my friend. Never mind. Hey. Think a I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace. Well, Alex just thinks so much. Hey, how you doing? Away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Throw my mask on real quick. Man, go on, move. Open oh, up, it's me. Again. Must be a slow day. You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Do you... <laughs> hey! What the hell's going on? Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. <sighs> A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Just calm down. No shooting. And they ain't paying me enough to care about this. I won't breathe a word to no one. Jesus, please, no, please. I've told you all I need. Uh. Like I said, it, it's up on the third floor. What else do you want me to say, mister? I always forget you can run at people and like tackle them and then hog tie them. Third damn floor. Don't you try causing no trouble. Don't do 
anything stupid. It's all right there on the table. Keep your head and I won't have to hurt you. Please, just take whatever's on the table and leave. There, there you go. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? If I find out you fellas are holding out on me, it's gonna end very badly for you. Oh, damn it. You keep your mouth shut. I will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. All right, I'll open the damn safe. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. Seventeen dollars. That was it. There's got to be more money. Gold nugget. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Like they're holding out. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? Candies. More behind it. Might be more back there, but I'm worried that they're gonna run free. Can I lasso these dudes? It doesn't give me the normal lasso. Oh God, no. What? Wonder who snitched. Go straight Assassin's Creed. Arthur Morgan. Assassin's Creed mode. Ass drop and Arthur's a little, a little on the stiff side, you know what I mean? There it is, parkour baby! <laughs> Roy, thank you so much for the sub!
That's how you escape right there. Senor? Why you acting like my shadow? Relax, dude. I'm walking down the street. What you doing this for? People got no chill. Hey, Point Matrix, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. Yeah. Alright, so we should be good. No sub. We're, we escaped. What is this place? The Fontana Magic Lantern Theater. Josiah Blackwater. Welcome. Welcome. Is that a magic show? What's it, what is it? There's still a show scheduled. Let me know. Hey, the T10. Make your way through the doors on either side of me. T101, thank you so much for the sub. It's called the Magic Lantern. I'm sure know about our great national hero and pioneer Josiah Blackwater him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature you see only about a hundred years ago were nothing here but big old force ferocious beasts surly savages arid deserts and unconquered mountains the west well the whole west was untamed your mama probably told you bedtime stories about Josiah's many adventures. But I'm going to tell you a story you ain't likely to have heard about his possum hat. Now, Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord, 1780. So I wonder if this, cabin, the city was named Hattie. after him. He was a special boy. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three years old. He had a beard, oh, too. He took to it right away. He exclaimed, there's a whole mess of critters out there in the world. He had a beard at three years old, baby. Yes, sir. He really took to killing all manner of things. Just as thank you for the sub. Shot. One morning, he was sorting up some winter turnips for the root cellar when a big old bear and her cubs came in the kitchen hunting for food. It had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. Josiah grabbed that bear and wrestled her to the ground and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He whooped the tar clean out of that big old crew. Chuck Norris. He tied her up, grabbed them cups, and ground them into sausages while the mama bear watched. Mm, that fine eating. His mom and pa knew right then he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they that is savage, dude. Running. After only three days of attending school, Josiah beat the living daylights out of a class bully and announced to his daddy that he was tired of ciphering and mathematics on account it's only good for adding up the number of critters or Indians you can kill. So he ran away from home and headed west. Now these lands were occupied by savages then, and when Josiah Blackwater came scouting through, he recognized it to be a land of splendor, wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worshiping false idols. He got rid of all them pesky buffalo, and thereby ensured those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up, so he had to slaughter all of them too. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old, and so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. Well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the <laughs> Lanahatchee River, riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky when he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah, followed him around like a dog loyal to its master. Yes. They had a lot of adventures together. 
Now Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skinned it and made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money, but he never parted with that hat, not even for $10. Once he founded the town of Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop in the West before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Helsby at a barn dance one night, took her as his wife, and settled down. Built himself a cattle empire and had 14 youngins. But Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home-loving kind. What the and he fuck? grew mighty restless. One day on the courthouse steps, he announced, You may all go to hell, and I will go to Saint Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuits of strumpets and wanton gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. He wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from. Saying, I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember, keep your friends close and your gun closer, because you don't know when you might have to shoot them. Man. Mr. Blackwater is a true hero. See, he's thinking for the sub. Bro, if so, stop pushing me, dude. Man. We'll see you again. Hello, sir. That guy was something else. All right, let me see. Uh, oh, okay, so our electric chair mission is up. Let's go check that out. This guy owes us a lot of money. He owes us money for the moonshine. He owes us money for... This is what it is. There we go. Time to collect. What's the biggest bounty I ever had? Uh, not that much. Only like what, fifty dollars? Eighty. Watch where you're going. Hi, bro. He's nearly dead. So humane. Ah! Ah! Oh, his life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Kill him already. Somebody shoot me, please. 
Oh, let's get out. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Oh, shit. Oh, please, someone help me. Unbelievable. What about... Christ alive. Oh, my God. It's dead. Help, help. Oh, hey, hey, come on. Quit pointing that. Where's my money? A dollar? Please help me. So these are the blueprints. Seriously? That was terrible. That was not... Um, I wouldn't classify that as humane at all. It's pretty rough. Damn! What? You ought to take care of that horse there. Real fine beast. All right, so it is almost nighttime. Um, oh, we got a quest over here. Let's go see what that is. I was like, what is, what's going on? What's the question? But I'll try to answer it the best I can. And thank you guys for 300 likes on the stream. That is awesome. I really do appreciate it. It's a nice little garden. I wouldn't put him out if he was on fire. Who knew? Well. Big country, well, thank you for the sub. This is extremely delicate. What is he working with glass? Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algin and wasp purveyor wow. of the exotic and the exquisite. He looks super fanny. Tape. Fancy. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat? Perhaps. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? Of course. I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it like you Like, wearing do, the Mr. one King little, Moore? like, Are you glasses thing makes you look so fancy. <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. You know, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Okay. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, L-Town Paula, thank you so much for the sub. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Is that foraging? I think that's foraging for plants, right? Um, I 
I haven't really done much foraging. Come on now, boy. That some bitch. I wouldn't put him out if he was on fire. All right, what time is it? Uh, it's about seven o'clock. We've got a couple hours before night. We got, we got to find something to do to pass time for this vampire scenario. We go hunt, hunt ourselves a vampire. Was that an exotic? Because it looked like a feather. So I didn't know if it was a bird and a leaf. Why you me, huh? Okay, so what we'll do while we're waiting. Um, let's see, we already went to the show. Could go to another show or we could go play some. We'll go play some cards, see if we can win some money while we wait for the night. It's my hitch, Move partner. On, will you? Go already. Wasn't she at the party? Good evening. Good evening. What are you looking at, cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. Okay. Move next time. Ah, bullet you. I raise you. Not again. I say. Please, gentlemen. You're embarrassing yourselves. Join the game if you like. A lot of people at this table. I do miss some Gwent. I do. I'm not one to gossip, but I hear Grover's been sleeping. Hopefully, I can win something this time around. It's happened before, you know. I best not look at my watch and find out how long I've been here. Gotta make sure we're keeping track of the time. All right. Um. So we'll play. Oh well. Good evening. Let's get this game going. Are you? I down? raise. I guess things could be worse. Sure. Okay. We actually win a good amount of money at this table here, guys. Okay, so I don't have much of anything. Here, young push hairs. I know. They too, son. Have it's a cow of the game. I'll How see that bet. Yeah, so we let's try this out. Mm. Yeah, we'll fold on that. I'm not going to invest anything this else. Is... Oh, damn. Oh, don't do that. That's him. That's the bastard. You don't say. Got a hunch on this. Never win that way. Yeah, these Come dudes are going now. in. Woohoo! <laughs> you beaut. These guys are going in, man. So they do bet pretty decent at this table. Compared to when you play in Valentine and stuff, they, they don't bet very much. Of course now. I see you brought your luck with you. I tell you, boy, married life ain't what it's made out to be. Oh, hold on. 
some word. That was fun, but I think I'm calling it quick. Is it you good playing with you? Let me see what time it is. So it's about nine o'clock. Got what two hours? I fold. Thanks, Mister. Look out. Oh. Are you mad? My bad. Keep away from me. Yeah, I would have played some real poker there, guys, but I'm so I, I looked out the window and I could see that it was starting to get dark. And um I didn't want to risk missing this vampire thing. What's dogging you, huh? My most expensive so I haven't bought a single horse, Veronica, at all. Did I see your spoil? Yeah, I already knew that. It wasn't much of a spoiler for me because uh, I already knew. Okay, fella. Okay, so we're looking for this vampire. John Keegan, thank you for the sub. We do have a mission over here. Oh, CC. It's in here. Look at this old fossil playing at cowboy. Partner? Kid? How you doing? Yeah, okay. So we'll see an X pop up on the map when he's here. All right, well, we'll just hang out for a minute, though. It's uh, midnight right now. Swanee, brother with the super chat. Thank you so much. Two men broke into a drugstore and stole all the Viagra. The police put out an alert to be on the lookout for two hardened criminals. <laughs> How you doing tonight, man? So we're just waiting, guys. Um, see if this vampire pops up. We're, we're vampire hunting. Getting our Sam and Dean Winchester on. We'll see how it goes. Oh, so if you wait, it's 12 a.m. for the vampire? Because I'm definitely probably too close then. Hey, 
Yeah, we found all five of the uh, the vampire uh, writings. Howdy. Hello there. Hello, mister. The hell? Charles Chatonnet, the painter! <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I mean... How is anybody going to recognize me? Civilization, so repressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. I shot on a bar. Quick, behind here. Keep up, keep up. We go, we go. Well, there's no way they're going to recognize you. <laughs> we are away. Come now, follow me. Those fellers, you, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Well, hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. This dude is something else, I'll tell you what. Back. Back. The money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey. We go through here. What is this? <gasps> Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. <laughs> okay, I'm moving. Come on. This guy's gonna make me kill somebody, isn't he? So wait, you ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of brilliance. Not so much. The new kinds of... The holy nothing. We go through there. These little shits. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue Hush! Was hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <sighs> Damn! Money borrowing, wife stealing. You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing. I love boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. Oh, yeah. I hope the 
sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. Oh. He's oh. out here. Uh, more for... I have a lot of friends around here. Try to pick up my Merci, guns. Mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Shit. So I'm wanted for a fight. Really? My damn gun is gone. We're gonna die. I forgot Arthur can't swim forever. I don't know why I, I don't know why I thought uh it, it didn't even like process in my head. I guess it's still better than getting arrested, right? No, no, it was not. Uh it was still $150 of craziness, and I still have a bounty, so I guess it was worse. And my freaking cores are terrible. What time is it? So what I'm going to do is, in order to do this, um, attempt this vampire thing, we'll go get a room over in the inn. Over here, we'll get a room, and then we'll pass time till night, and then we'll come back over. Nice to have you back, friend. This will do for me nicely. Everyone's a liar at this point. So, what'll it be? That's no lie. You got any rooms? Okay, rooms all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. There we go. I 
I don't like casting aspersions, but uh, for him, there's nothing else but to. Okay. Here we go. Hey, sugar. Morning, dear. All right, so we're gonna sleep till night. Then we'll head out, try to see if we can locate Monsieur Vampire. So, should I head over there immediately or going over there after 12? Is that what I should do? Because before we were over there before 12, Um, so, yeah, it's after 12 right now. Check the map. I don't see an X on the map right now. Hello, sir. We're in chapter four. Bonjour. Hard to imagine five minutes from my here, you see houses don't even have lights in them. How do you do? Beware. Okay. Hey, learn how to Stop walk. sleepwalking. Hello, mister. Hello. Hey. Hello. Your money, mister. Hey, move it. I ain't getting involved because I'm going to save that guy. I'm going to catch a freaking I'm going to catch a case trying to save somebody. I know how this is going to go. Where do we go? My day was pretty good. It was pretty good. Trust me, you want to hear this. I promise, you're going to want to hear this. Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but um, follow me and we'll chat. Is this the vampire? All right, so here's what I have in mind. <laughs> How do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has and don't. Eight hundred dollars. I thought it was the vampire. I, I thought it was the vampire mission, so I was like, oh, cool, yeah, you know, I'll follow him, and oh, it's going to be the vampire. No, I just got fucking pistol whipped and robbed for $800. I'm going back. It was right over where my horse is.
I ain't feeling my best. Mind yourself, partner. I prefer you move away now. What is wrong with you? Good. I want no fight anyway. Get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. Man, we missed the damn vampire event, I'm pretty sure. God damn it, man. I'm gonna find those assholes, I swear. Eight hundred dollars. It is what it is. Um, we still got that room. Have you got something to say to me? Like I said, the only the only reason why I uh, I followed him is because I thought it might have been the vampire. You know, it seemed like a sketchy. Sketchy like vampire situation, you know what I mean? Like he's trying to lead me into a dark alley. He's gonna try to suck my blood, and then. But uh, no. I just got robbed. You want to have some fun? Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna save Scummit, guys. It, it happens. We'll find him. I want to thank you guys for over 350 likes on the stream. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Like I said, the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying this and you guys want to continue seeing it, you know, very, very frequent uh, releases. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button. It's it's how, how I know that you guys are enjoying the content. Andy, thank you for the sub. Hey. Beg your pardon, ma'am. Excuse me, sugar. Hello. And I just got robbed for eight hundred dollars. Thank you.
Checking that alley, of course. Yep, I see the X. I see the X. Okay. Let me drop a save here. Swatty, gonna smash the like button for you getting robbed. I mean, there was nothing shady, but I mean, that's why I went with him, though, is because he was shady. I was relying on his shadiness. Thinking it was the vampire. But, uh, we learned. All right, here we go. But Swanee, brother, thank you so much for the uh, or the super chat, brother. Oh shit! What guns are these, dude? So, you found me. <laughs> do hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. Bitch, Yo, that's a sick ass looking knife, though. The ornate dagger. Yo, this motherfucker was a real vampire, too. Bat wings? What? You see his ears? Kathleen, thank you for the sub. Yeah, we should take a picture. Robert, thank you for the sub. So we just got a new dagger from the vampire called the Ornate. Wait, where is it? Do I not have it on? Or maybe I need to get it off of my horse. Or maybe I got to get it from my locker back in uh, camp. I didn't drop it, right? What? Why can't I rest at this guy in craft? What? <laughs> it's on me? Got the hatchet and the regular knife. Select the hunting knife. 
Oh, I see, I see, I see. Civil War knife, Fortnite dagger. Got you. I forgot there was a little sub, um, sub menus. Look at that thing though. It's pretty dope. All right, so we got that done. Um, Trelawney, 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 Trelawney's mission. Or we could head up to up near Valentine and we could do the, the, the mission with the Native Americans. That'd be pretty cool, too. There's also this. So, uh, you know what? No, no, no. We're going to go liberate this camp of the Native Americans first. Uh, we're going to go over to Riggs. Damn, heat rash is killing me. Can you examine it? Uh, it doesn't let you bring it up like the guns. Unfortunately. Maybe at the gun shop you can maybe look at it. I'll be right over. Uh, invitation from How the mayor. Be, what? Okay, so we have we just got an invitation from the mayor. Uh, making your acquaintance at the residence the other night. Uh, you met so many people. It's kind of. I didn't notice. However, uh, you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident, and documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent. But just long enough to know when I'm owed a small favor. Perhaps your gun hold frontier spirit from their and my cold I see it every day. old world cynicism could work well together. Indulge me in a meeting. Uh, come back to the residence uh, any night you wish. Knock on the door. My assistant will let you in. Awesome. Okay, so we just unlocked a side quest, I believe, with the my horse had to shit. Hello. Whoop, with the mayor there. Hello, mister. Pay my bounty too. I'm glad you're doing the right thing. Alright. And then we will get a ticket to Riggs. Pleasant travels. So we found out about this uh this camp. Uh who the hell told us about that? It was that drunk guy up north. Um about he worked how he worked at this camp that held natives. Let's see. So, I'll uh, we'll literally take a left and we just follow this down. Change my clothes. Uh, how much money do I have? 20, we're up to about $2,600. More unopened mail? Make sure we're on the right road. Yep. Awesome. Yeah.
You've got mail. Alright, let's see. We're almost there. I was down this way. I never even noticed yeah. whatever this uh, prison camp was. Oh. I don't think it's active anymore. It looks... Progress, English, ration, illness, night, generosity, appreciate language, learn, natural illness, grown, help, tree, tools, history, ancient, best, walls, English. <laughs> what? <laughs> Leaves, each earth, primitive insect, nothing, only understand, remember, gas, grass, rubble, answer, valley, eat, father, eight, teeth, hair, enclosed, rock, fort, a <laughs> useful, guard, heavy, tent, anyone, neck, die, die, island, eat, drink, special, old, quiet, under, idea, Chill knowledge longer. Young mother outside. Treasure home. Eat rain discipline. Illness. Eat school soldier. Live order. Whoa. No. Oh. Some. That's pretty good practice there. Gotta memorize that for the hell you shit. This is quite abandoned. Wonder why it's in such rough shape. Okay, yeah, we could take rigs up to, uh, you know, we'll just ride up to Valentine. Up here. Yeah.
I wanted to hunt that legendary alligator, but I think some of you guys said you have to be in a later chapter for that, right? A hunting cabin north of the W in Elizabeth? I don't think we've been up there. Swing by, we'll grab this post real quick. A letter from Charles. What? Oh, the guy that went on the boat. Okay. Sand between my toes and a beautiful veil in my bed. Or Vahin. I thought that there would be more. Everything I thought would be okay. I had a fella try to pass off some jerky as his ticket. You believe that? I just had to ask this more than something to believe. You own that little scribble. It may be worth something now. Either that or that. <sighs> All oh, these folks shit. coming and going, but I'm stuck right here. So he's saying that that painting that he gave me might be worth some money now. But so where would I sell that painting? Thanks, Boy. I wonder if we got to go find like the art sellers or the like an art gallery or something in Saint Denis. I'm here. Thank you so much, bro. How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? I mean, even if it's not a lot of money, working, doing missions with that guy, he was pretty fun. Sell at the fence. Hey, stop right where you are. Take another step. You don't have a bullet in your gun. You're getting robbed here. Don't make it worse for yourself. Get down up there now. I hear you. Get your dirty hands up now. Why, dude? All right, 
Let's go. So we got a decent amount of loot off of them. Our horse, my horse is so dirty. <laughs> I can actually yeah, see it. Better, boy. Let's go, boy. My choice of hairstyle, like in real life, Eric, or or in uh, yeah, or or the hairstyle I gave Arthur. I gotta take that mask off. We haven't been up in these parts in a while. Good old Valentine. So I got this horse by stealing it from the Braithwaite Manor. Uh, I used to have a B on his butt. Yep. I love you too, Eric. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, the hair, the bee is gone now. It is what it is. It was cool when it had the bee on it, though. So it, it's, it doesn't accelerate as fast as the Arabian, but it's, um, it's, it's a lot braver. Uh, the issue we were having with the Arabian is it was just whipping me off, like, all the time. You're a good boy. But it's a fast horse. As you guys see, it's pretty damn fast. Go. He came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. All right, sneaking in. And no, I haven't gone back to the Braithwaite, the Braithwaite Manor after it burned down. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. I'm 
start loading up. Yeah, when I first got it, Eric, the the horse had a B on it on its rear end. Uh, it's, it was for the Braithwaite. That's what it stood for, I guess. into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Damn, now it's no longer night. Yeah, the guy, there was a guy sitting at the desk. He's seen me. Caught us snooping. <laughs> I gotta stay hydrated, you know? Sam, how you doing? Nah. I can't drink tea too much. Too much sugar. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on, then. Try this again. I'm on like chapter four, Braden. Saw a story mission right here too. We're trying to help out this uh, group of Native Americans. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. I think we got to go into the bottom here.
It's Eric at night. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I do appreciate it. Must be Danbury. What? Will you be quiet? I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. Come on, brother, Dan tell Barry. me. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially. Such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. Hey, you, partner. You're doing good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. What a nice watch you got there, Mr. Danbury. Documents. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me.
I don't see any more of them. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yeah. Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. How much they pay for that? 250? Damn, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. So that that got a little more event. Oh, we got a mission over here too. That was a little more eventful than I uh, thought it was going to yeah. be. And I want to thank you guys for over 400 likes on the stream. That is so awesome. All right, let me see. Uh, yep, keep going up this way. On a mission, stranger mission. Familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. <laughs> well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Sirilo, well, thank you so I'm much for the sub. Ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. I already own some yarrow. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Yeah, you can get the gun from San Denis. That's where oh, I bought it from yeah. in Chapter 4. When I went over there, I went to the gun store and was able I to buy it right away. Already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. Was that All it? All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you. You guys said they don't have the... 1899 in online? Why, why would they have it in the story but not in multiplayer? 
It's not even like it's a insane gun or anything like that. That's weird. Swanee, brother. For this month's game giveaway, who's the most popular guy in the nudist colony? The one who can carry a cup of a cup of coffee in each hand and a dozen donuts. <laughs> Swatty, brother, thank you so much. That is a huge super chat, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. <laughs> For this month's game giveaway, who's the most popular guy at the nudist colony? The one who can carry a cup of coffee in each hand and a dozen donuts. Thank you so much, brother. So we're going to head up. Who? Who is Henry? Oh, the mayor, the mayor, the mayor. Yeah, yeah. Let's go check that out. Yeah. Online gets the best horses. All right, so we're going to ride over to... Oh, screw it. We'll just ride. Maybe we'll see something nice and interesting on the way down. See some more stranger quests. Oh, Guy going hunting. Yep. Chica, how you doing? Hopefully we don't get robbed again. Yeah. Seems like I've been getting robbed a lot lately. Like in this episode, I think we've been robbed about two or three times already. Well, attempted robbery. Bruce, how you doing? Separate Devo. I'm doing good, man. Oh, stable. I like the Schofield. I actually still rock my Schofield revolver to this day. Beautiful gun. Yep. Nah, shit. That we've been robbed three times for sure. Yeah, because we got robbed in the alley by the kids. Remember they 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 brought brought us in. They tried to rob us. Um, we got robbed, robbed for eight hundred dollars, guys. For those of you guys that missed it earlier, I was looking for the vampire. There was this guy who was like, "Oh, follow me into this alley," and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is the vampire, dude. This is it." I go in there and I get fucking pistol whipped and robbed for eight hundred dollars. So that happened, and then the O'Driscolls try to rob me on the road there. Who's my least favorite character in the game? Well, initially, I didn't like Micah very much. He was pretty annoying. Um, and then he started to seem like he got cool after the whole strawberry incident. And now he's kind of becoming a douche again, and I don't like him. Johnny, get that good sleep, all right? But yeah, <laughs> definitely that guy that took the...
There's another one. Fucking public enemy number one today, man. That wasn't even a robbery. They just tried to kill me. Hey, W. Morgan, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Hey, that that was not on me. That that did not violate the New Leaf policy. I, I've been pretty not savage this episode. You know, keeping, you know, we turned over a new leaf. No longer har harming innocents. But I, uh, I definitely just got... They attacked me. All these rifles that are down on the ground are... Crap from what they it's what just a I think it's just a yeah it's just a Warren Lancaster Warren double action yeah, all these guns are pretty bad yeah Warren Schofield Another warning. Like, yeah, all these guns are trash. Gator. Yeah, you could hunt for sure. I thought about. Well, uh, you're asking, can I go hunting? I, I plan on going hunting. Um, we're gonna be grinding out some more satchels, and uh, I actually have to go hunting for what was it? An Oriole, a Robin. And a couple other things for the ex exhibit. Well, was that their camp that they set up to? We did nothing wrong. Whoever put the two together was planning long and hard to ruin my day. <laughs> Isha, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Let me see here. Oh, oh. Any lockbox or anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right here. Uh, I think this is the ammo box. Whoops, <laughs> don't close it, dude. Uh, what is my favorite animal to hunt? Um, not squirrels. For that, that's for damn sure. Um, but so far, all of the legendary animals have been pretty fun. Uh, anything that's not the small animals have been a pretty good time to hunt. Small animals can get pretty miserable. But, you know, we've done some gator hunting. That was really cool. I, I want to hunt that legendary gator for sure. Mm, itching for a real bit of business. Would I like to recover my... Hell yeah, I want to get my money back, man. I was thinking about checking that same spot in San Denis every night. Every night that we're in that location, I want to keep checking. Now, them squirrels are the worst. Freaking $800, man.
Go to the springs. To the springs? That's so far, dude. I got robbed down near the church. Um, right here. There was an alleyway right here. And a uh, guy got me. I mean, I did the treasure hunt at the springs already, uh, Bad Dog, if that's what you're talking about. Okay, so this should be where the mayor is, right? Wait, where does mission go? Barry, thank you so much for the super chat. Enjoy the streams. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, well, I did have a mission to do with the mayor. I don't know where it went. Maybe it's, uh time of day is it right now maybe it's not too early in the morning nighttime only oh he did say at night yeah yep yep true gotcha gotcha yep all right so i guess we'll go link up with trelawney but perry thank you so much i do appreciate the super chat okay there And we'll eat some of this crap. And then... I mean, I would like to know if I get my money back. If I can't get my money back, then hey, it is what it is. But I hope that you can get your money back. That'd be crazy if they, they had a... Had it in the game where you could get robbed for $800. And then not be able to get it back. Oof. That's rough. Callie, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Please. Won't you lend a coin to a fella in need? Go get yourself something to eat. That's the way of the whole world. Sir. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Thank you, partner. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Problem here in the dirt. Trelawney! You snake in the grass. There's a snake in my boot! Does anybody know where that's from? Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Ben. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? By a yes, fine my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Oh, well, why do I gotta pay for it? Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. Oh, it's free. Awesome. You can see a very good choice. We should probably... Damn, we should have got a haircut. We're looking the low. heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Okay, Good nice. Tonight, gentlemen. We're getting cleaned up. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. 
The suspense is killing me. Sounds sketch, man. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past Last time. couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Yeah, right, Swatty. <laughs> my good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This right. unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Okay. Extra clean shave. Make him look like a prince, sir. Hmm. You know, we'll go with the extra clean. We're gonna shave it all off, guys. We gotta look the we're gonna look the part. Arthur, right now we we look the part. We look complete. We look the there, part, very dude. Smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. We look the part. Evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Okay. Wow, there she is. Come on. Okay. Wasn't the whole Blackwater incident on a boat? Well, yeah, search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Well, goodbye, babies. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone naked. is the We're author naked. of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Okay. There they are. Gentlemen. How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Good morning. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. 
drinks on Arthur. Champagne. So how's Javier going to get on there with a gun? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. <laughs> These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time. But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? All right. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Here we go. Good evening, Poker gentlemen. time, baby. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Plyde. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. Yeah, we got I like three. this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the whole king. They all called? King. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. Joe, oh, we got a straight <laughs> up. <laughs> we almost got a straight. To hell with it. Uh, you know what? Let's let's go big. These guys are all in. This is probably a bad idea, but I'll raise you. Here we go then. Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I, I didn't watch Strauss at all. You and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, oh, Mr. Yeah. Callahan? I forgot we were supposed to watch Strauss. I'm an oil man. But now it's 1v1, so. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. All that. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Well, what do we do, Strauss? Here goes nothing. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. I won. Ship. <laughs> Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So you must know Leviticus. Oh, I see a Strauss's button well, there. Man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Whew. Kings are looking beautiful. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. 
Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pear cakes. Very good, oh. but not good enough. Shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Yeah. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. That is insane. God damn you! <laughs> no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash hey, these out for me. I started last oh, week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Oh, damn. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. I'm about to take that from you. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. I feel like I'm gonna be shooting my way well, off this boat. Here we are. Sacker, thank you so much for the sub. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come Fuck. on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. God damn it. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no-good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We got to get out of here. Keep us move! 
screen for. Arthur can't oh, shit. Sam, thank you so much for the sub. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come <laughs> on, let's get out of here. We got ourselves a nice watch there. Three thousand. My share was seven fifty. What? Well, we cleaned up nice for that. Real nice. All right. So I see a. Looked like there was a stranger mission that popped up on the map. What is this? Is that Jim Boy Callaway? Yo, let's head up to Valentine. Um, so we did these uh, gunslinger quests a long time ago, um, and it was the whole Jim Boy Calloway thing. Use that watch to check the time. Oh, Ga Gavin, was it? Was it the Gavin dude in Rhodes? Let me see. Um, how do you equip it? Is it on the weapon wheel? I didn't see any watches, though. Hmm. Yeah, it's not on there anywhere. Swanee, brother, get that good sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight, man. Get clear. my friend oh excuse me somebody help me please good morning to you have you seen gavin you still haven't found him nope but i won't give up he's lost one morning i just woke up and he wasn't there someone must have taken him oh, maybe he just left gavin <laughs> no no, we were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Don't shock me none. Gavin! I've seen worse. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? I 
Oh, now we can equip it. So how do I how do I check it? Uh, items. Okay, right there. Wow, that is a nice watch. Oh, I am so worried. Might have to keep that. Job. Job. We might have to keep that. Time to go, boy. All the move from now. Let me see. Is that Jim Boy Callaway mission still available? Yep. All right, we'll ride up there. Yeah, we'll hold on to that watch. We won't. We won't sell that one. That one's pretty. It's pretty clean. What is your problem? Can I give you a ride somewhere? Uh, stagecoach guy. You know what? You can bring me to Valentine, brother. So, partner, can I get a ride? Where to, friend? Oh, it's a little pricey though, man, compared to uh, you take me to, Valentine, please? to the train. I feel okay. like the train is cheaper. Just preparing you. We're in for a ride and a half. Go on and move. Yeah. Jim Boy Calloway. Leon, how you doing? Uh, Leon. Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on us. Look at you. Another coward trying to play it tough. You looking to prove something here? Don't mind me. I'm leaving. You're lucky I got a mission, brother. Gerardo with the super. Thank you so much. How you doing? Yeah, we'll be sure to keep a bullet warm for you. Just listen out for the accents. All right, O'Driscoll. We'll see about that. Ah. So. So it goes. It's been a little while since we've been in uh in Valentine. Oatmeal, pork and beans. Careful, big man. Squirrel Watch. boil uh, and uh pickled eggs. Hey, I'm looking for some fellow soldier. Well, Gerardo, again, here. thank you so much for boy the super. Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay then. Really? I just left I there. I drink here though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some sazerac. Hey there. Hey now. Well, back down south we go, guys. Well, hello there. I want to get a drink. I'm parched. Give a fellow a nickel. Yeah, <laughs> hey, partner. Hey, brother. Hey, Mr. Mr. Arthur. Why are you always so mad? You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You beat up the big fella. <laughs> he wants to beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? 
Yeah. I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. Oh, a real bad. There's good wars? Uh, I... I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get... I get... funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. We never do. Hey, that ain't nice. Act crazy, dude. I never act crazy. I'm probably the most civilized person in this in, in this whole world. If you would give me a minute, please. Here, uh, you be on your way. I am, guys. I mean, I'm being I'm being accused. Act crazy, uh, man. Listen, <laughs> I do got a nice boat. I do got a nice boat, but guys. I guarantee, if I went back through all of my Red Dead episodes and tried to build a a, a, a savage montage. It'd be a very short montage. It'd be like, what, four or five seconds? There might be a, a scene or two. That's about it. All right, Jim boy. No, we can make it. We can make it. Ah, there it is. It would be no three hours long. <laughs> At least an hour. Get out of here. It would not be no hour. <laughs> Bad Wolf, it wouldn't. It w uh, You're looking at the pride of the morning. You must be damn Brand stupid if you think you can come back here. Saber. Hey. I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. This is the riverboat. Well, this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. Okay. Quick, you might catch him sober. Here we go. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, uh, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot Welcome a lot of the people. Family, son. Oh, the yeah. family, it. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I share the money, of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes you know with the six well, month. Thank you so much. Especially when you lie. I am keeping that right. clean track That's record. A goddamn fast. What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know, I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody, <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody. You goddamn. I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, what works? Oh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill both of you. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! Yes, you are. <sighs> all right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove 
Nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, no, <laughs> no, let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. It's a nice gun ah, right there. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Uh, now you're Joe, drunk how you doing? and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. All right, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Wait, so they want me to go capture this guy so Jim Boy Calloway can have a, a duel with him? Hey, partner. Yeah, we got to head all the way up to Annisburg. Yeah, I really did like the color scheme of Callaway's gun. I have... Look at those rats there, dude. And we needed rats, and they're just freaking everywhere. Um, this is my skull field. Now, like, I like mine, but man, Callaway's was clean. Like, that silver with the black engravings. Pretty clean. That's... It's cleanest, actually. I mean, it's a clean gun, you know what I mean? But still. I don't know why. I feel like his was cooler. We got the Viking artifacts already. And then this is my baby. My actual baby. That's so dirty. Holy shit. Look how dirty this gun is. I use this gun a lot, so I got to make sure I stay on top of cleaning it. And thank you guys, almost 500 likes. You all are amazing. Let's go uh, capture this dude for Jim Boy. So let me see where he is. Okay, Annisburg. I think we might be able to take the train straight there. That's the bastard who almost ruined everything. I've heard the same thing. What's your goddamn problem? You got a problem here? Yo, why is everybody always talking shit? Hello. It's like, I feel like everybody's judging me. I see you, friend. I'll help you out presently. Hmm? Yes? I feel like I should dual wield the, the, the 19. But what, how do I dual wield? Do I, do I go buy another one? How you been? Yep, Annisburg right here. Thanks. See you again soon. I was trying to figure out that uh, before. So do I just go to the store and buy another one and I can dual wheel them? Okay. We might have to do that. We'll have ebony and ivory. Who knows where that's from? Don't Google it, you cheaters. Can't make them look the same, though. One's got. I'll, I'll do one silver and black and one with the gold and black. Stevie Wonder. Uh, Steve nailed it right there, my man Dante. Blue Fort nailed it.
No, it's from uh, Devil May Cry. Come on, guys. I mean, we had some we had some people nail it, so I can't. Hey, careful now. We must. Okay, so is this in the city? Yep. Start thinking. Stop believing. Stop dreaming. Start thinking. Hey, oh, what's that? Is a single integrated system and we are destroying it. Yes, I know. It sounds like madness. I assure you, I am not mad. Whatever you may think, it's time to save the world. How do you do? Hey. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It was kind of interesting. Did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, baboons? Yeah. yeah, quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking. Guys, been chewing that volume. cocaine. Well, there's gum. another volume of a unifying theory of scientific knowledge. Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but I've got a great bit about how this new craze for dental hygiene Whoa. will make our pets homosexual. Huh. Well, good luck with that. It's a pretty interesting theory. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fuck it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. We need science to see, but not tell us. There is good All right. There is bad science, and that is really the so this guy is a freaking sheriff? I've done a lot of great things. A lot I don't see how this is going to work. You, I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here oh, last yeah. week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you he's got, go he's got a, uh, uh, 1899 too. Who you all hated. Went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men. Would you go looking for him? <laughs> probably not. Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> you okay, boy? All right, let's see. Let me see. So we're going to make sure we have. Yeah, I'll use my Lancaster. I like the repeaters. They're good guns. I don't use. I haven't used mine all that much, but. Man, I feel like it's been a while since we've just been in the woods. Caitlin, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Yeah, I don't have a car counter rifle yet. It was still locked in the gun store. Yeah, I like my bolt action. I really do. Um, it's the rate of fire, though. That's the only downside to the bolt action. If I need to take like a lot of Far away shots in quick succession.
I think that's our marshal right there. I just want to try, even though I know it doesn't really matter because everybody's going to aggro, I just wanted to see what these throwing axes, these hatchets do. From downtown! I was the one that you've been waiting for, brother. Hey! Over here! Taylor, how you doing? The tree over here! I'm tied to this tree! No shit. Trying to see if there's any uh, good loot or anything. It didn't look like it, though. Check the back of the wagon. John, how you doing, brother? You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> Okay, let's get you out of here. Yes, indeed, son. Uh, uh. It's like, dude, I, I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You. <laughs> He's like, dude, wait, wait. What are you doing? Now, I was saying something. Might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was, before you got so short with me. Shit. Okay, we'll take a left score right up here. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. So someone wants to see you, taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. <laughs> I will prosecute you for this, you insubordinate bastard. This is it, down here. It's almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this shit's about to go down, dude. about to go down <laughs> so you got him I think so did you kill his cousin back in 82 <laughs> whose cousin my cousin I never shot no one didn't deserve it uh, you shot Jed Calloway 
And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would've, if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! He shot a man in the back. I thought that's like wicked against the code of gunslingers. Well, that settles that then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back. And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Fuck. No, 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 no. Woo! That man is... <laughs> Yo, I didn't even have a chance to react. Oh, man, this is going to be... I didn't want to kill him. I was going to try to see if you could do it non-lethal, but I missed it. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I Is there any way to do that non-lethal? Westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was... Certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the That's Marlo, thank you so much for the sub. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, well, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. Oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Beautiful. All right, let me see if I can get his weapon. Look at his hat, too, man. That's a nice hat. Yeah, I actually like that hat. This hat cannot be stored? Why not, dude? So we just got Callaway's revolver. Yeah, that thing is so sweet looking. Look at this. That's a sick gun. That's a sick gun. Jack, thank you for the sub. I, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna go down like that, but And Warrior Gamer, thank you so much for the sub. We'll swap this one with Callaways. There's our guns. Yeah, now I got two of the soul fields. Check behind that waterfall. Mr. Bad Dog, we already went to the springs.
It was uh, part of a treasure hunt we did quite a few episodes back. There's more there. This way. Cake. The overpowered. Thank you so much for the sub. Wait, nope. Lucifer, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat. Still going on Red Dead, I see you're an animal. Remember, stay hydrated, bro. I for sure, man. I appreciate it. Fish. Hey Brian, Jesus still going Christ, on Red Dead I see. You're an animal cool. Remember to stay hydrated, bro. Please okay sign beer mug. I don't see anything by the waterfall. We gotta go down. Nothing at this waterfall? Okay. Seems like a pretty cool spot though. They could have put something there. Uh, it was an OP spot to make money when online first released. Easy fish is falling on the ledge. Oh, I couldn't even imagine. Oh, we never looted this guy, Slim Grant. Nice. Got a platinum watch. So back in this time, was platinum worth less than gold? Because, well, I don't even know. Maybe in today's... Economy platinum might be worth less than gold now too, but I remember platinum used to be like it was like way higher than gold for a while there in like the early two thousands. All right, we'll head down to Annisburg. There we go. Are you the man? Yep. Go, 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 horsey. We got it. Traverse. Traverse. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina? Ya para qué? No puedo. Wasn't there uh, a... No, uh, no, nah, nah, guys. I was taking him out of his misery. Um, We're going to swing by this again, see if that shotgun event is there. Yeah.
I didn't kill that wolf. I, I just scared it off. I mean, that dude was disrespectful. Oh. First of all, I was trying to save his life. And he slapped it out of my hand. Like, nah, dude. I'm trying to save you, dude. Don't be fucking an asshole. You guys remember this spot? Now, this is Jim Boy Calloway's hat. Whatever you're selling, I don't He's back. want it. All right, so we know not to mess around this time. Whatever it is you want, do it somewhere else. Oof. If you don't... Rare shotgun. Oh, this thing looks absolutely insane. Look at that. That's a nice gun. That's a really nice gun. All right, partner. Yeah, that is a clean gun. really is. Um, oh, it's almost worth the same amount back then. Hmm. Okay, fella. Uh, both pretty close to each other. We were, we were able to get the rare shotgun, so I missed my, my first chance at that because I died. Um, that guy will one tap you. Legit. Now, is that shotgun really strong? Like, is that why he was able to one-tap me, or is that just a mechanic of the game? Yeah. Or is the shotgun really that good? Let me see. What was the damage on it? It's not as high as the rare rolling block. Like, my rare rolling block rifle is almost max damage. Um, that one's pretty high, though. Close to the springs, yo. The springs are super far from where I am. Springs are... Aren't the springs way up here? Yeah, the springs are over here. That shit's so far away. I might go over to the springs, though, when we go to hunt the legendary wolf. We'll go back up there. Yeah, I got the treasure map already. We went there and we went back, but I missed the opportunity at the shotgun, but I was able to go in the house. Yeah. Wanted to test out the shotty. The animal's bleeding. Wow. Yeah, I got him. How did I lose? Need the venison. Pelt's not worth taking, though. It's damaged. Yeah. 
Annisburg, Roanoke Ridge. Oh, you lose on. I didn't even get a chance. I literally was trying to hit the button to kill it, and then it just died. It just bled out. Never listen to me. It's like talking to a goddamn wall. What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more, okay? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? Well, I told you a hundred times already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. And who's gonna change things around here? You? Jameson? He'll work you to death. I've had enough. I'm gonna go put food on the table. Won't you leave me be? <gasps> Please no! hit me. <clears throat> Bro. Come on, dude, don't do this to yourself. Let's make this quick. Go! Oh, this don't man. do it, brother. Listen. That was not my fault. That was not my fault. Mister. Mister. I lost my Callaway hat. No, that didn't that didn't ruin the leaves. That didn't ruin the leaf. I was literally just sitting there listening to them talk. Right? He fucking came and pushed me. And I didn't even, I didn't posture up. I didn't do anything. He pushed me. And then he just walked up and tried to hit me. Or he, not even try. He walked up and hit me. And then we were duking it out, which was whatever. We were just fist fighting. And then he pulled a gun. And I didn't even, I had, I didn't shoot him. I didn't pull a gun. I just disarmed him. But that was on him, guys. That was all him. Oh, I hear you. Welcome. How do you do? Yes, man. Have yourself a nice trip. <laughs> There's no more leaves. I've used the whole damn fort. I didn't. It wasn't on me. <laughs> I didn't give him the six feet. <laughs> Guys, that that one doesn't count. Come on, come on. Let me let me. At least somebody, somebody side with me. I was I was I would have donated him some money. You know, to keep him out the mine. She doesn't have to worry about him dying in the mine now. <laughs> so, chat is savage. So my, my leaf my leaf is still intact. Oh shit. Ah. Hello there, mister. Hey, fellas. I said hello, tough guy. You stopped being funny a long time ago. Wake the hell up, you lazy fool. 
Well, I'm gonna let you have it. <laughs> Somebody made a dumb this decision. Kind of trouble I like. Someone, please help. Have it your way. Anybody! I need help! You ain't much of a fighter, huh? I'm gonna kill you, you bastard! Die! Oh my God. You know you're gonna die, right? All right. Good luck with that. I didn't beat anything. They came after me. Oh. Let me guess. This guy shooting at me is all right. You know, he's not a savage. I could have ran. That <laughs> No! I shouldn't have to run. I'm like a leaf mulching Let's machine. I walked by the guy. I said hello. He didn't say anything. Then Arthur said, I said hello, tough guy. And then he started talking mess. And next thing I know, we're throwing blows. Yeah, throwing so blows. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head back to camp. And I want to thank you guys for almost 500 and. 50 likes on the stream that is that is big that is big i really do appreciate that we made some damn fine progress today i feel did a ton of side quests um i feel like we even did a bunch of ma main quests so tomorrow night well in game night we're gonna go and hit up the mayor there at nighttime and we have a mission for sadie adler back at camp and um, I think next episode we're going to go ahead and try to hunt a bunch of uh, why is this always so creepy um, a couple of the legendary animals see how he cut in front of me it they're set, the game is setting me up, man. Yeah. Same fucking log, dude. That same log. <laughs> Didn't we hit that same log earlier? <laughs> oh, no, dude.
ass deer, boy. <laughs> Arthur, get over here. No, we're not going wrangling. So I felt that, yeah, I felt that was a really, really good episode. I, I had a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't, on your way out, smash that like button. Um, and uh, if you're new to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. Uh, we're going to be playing, like I said, a lot more Red Dead going forward. This game is absolutely amazing. I have 100% the intent on um, playing this game, beating it fully, doing the epilogue, messing around in the epilogue. And then I want to play Red Dead 1. We're actually going to go and we're going to play the first game. And then we're also going to play Undead Nightmare. So if you guys are fans of the universe of Red Dead Redemption, we're going to be fully exploring it. And, uh... Oh, we will do it. We'll do Uncle's Mission. We'll do Uncle's Mission for sure. I'm going to be doing all missions. I, I just... The reason why I'm not doing it right now is because uh, we'll be ending for tonight. Let me drop a save here. Uh, so we haven't done Grounded with my son yet. I was thinking about doing that tomorrow. We got to see how everything goes uh, time-wise. But tomorrow we'll be doing a bunch of streams. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out today. Bert B with the sub. Thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate all the love and the support. Uh, again, like I said, if you guys haven't on your way out, smash that like button. If you guys are enjoying the content, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, tomorrow we'll be picking up the streams. Uh, I'm not going to do any more for tonight. It's already almost 11. By the time I start, I really won't be able to stream for that long. So uh, we'll be playing a couple games tomorrow. And uh, there's that. So you all have a good night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.